what's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 6 and today I'll be going to uh, showcase you guys what is query parameter in fast API so I believe couple of tutorials ago we did a did one tutorial on path variable and in this tutorial we'll be going to talk about what is query parameter so these things are quite confusing but don't worry uh, I, I, I actually created uh, a small uh, use case for that so all of you will be able to understand so without wasting much time let me just run through the slide so this is the uh, official link where you will get all the information about fast api and after that there is a, a brief uh, description or definition whatever you can say about fast api this is also very important but again if someone is to if someone is interested to learn more about fast api from the documentation or theoretical point of view then definitely go ahead and uh, read through this second thing is that i'm getting so many requests that uh, some of you are not able to install fast api so uh, this slide is very important so you have to have a python version 3.6 or higher and after that only will be able to install pip okay <coughs> sorry but again uh, if you do not install uvcon then probably you will not able to uh, um, build or run your application so that is why this python 3.6 this is very important this is very important and this is very important so if someone is watching this tutorial for the first time then it will be uh, uh, recommended to go ahead and start the tutorial from the tutorial number one so this is a whole uh, playlist and bunch of tutorials only six tutorial is uh, completed so um, that is not much so it will be better if you guys can start watching the tutorial from the beginning actually because they are actually discussed a lot about the fast api documentation uh, some uh, uh, some installation configuration and everything so enough of talking guys let me start writing the code actually so here i'll be going to talk about what is query param parameter or how you can use query parameter okay so first thing first so it should be from first api import first api then it's going to give a name of my app and it's, it's going to be the instance of this fast api right and now i'll be going to create all the routes so app dot profile ah sorry app dot get and here i'll be going to use let's say profile that's it I don't know this is the right slash or probably this is the right slash I don't know sometimes this is very confusing actually then let me show profile there I'll be going to use ID and integer so something like that okay and after that let me return something return ID is id okay so let's sorry evicon slash app port takes it zero zero okay so this is very simple what is that uh, this is very simple so i think uh, the dictionary so you have to use something like that okay that's it so application is started actually I believe let me close this thing actually I did some mess yes it's running so let's try to run this thing so it should be profile okay and profile and after that id id equals to 5 okay see i got id equals to 5 now if you say that in my path uh, i don't have this thing so this is definitely not path variable this is called a co query parameter or path not path parameter it's a query parameter how to use query parameter you have to use this question mark and after that you have to give the name of your parameter and you have to pass the value and whatever value i'm passed over here actually this is coming 
now thing is that if you remove this thing and if you try to execute this thing let's say see I got an internal server error so this is important that you have to give this thing if you don't uh, like sorry if you just give ID then it will become only string actually so now if I put this thing see I got this string so I want this ID has to be as integer so that is why I just put this thing so this is one thing so now next thing is that uh, let's uh, do something uh, some validation okay how to do some validation so it should be app dot get then check okay something check okay and then def check and I'll be going to use num int okay then let's do some checking if num greater than 5 then return let's say uh, I'm just thinking how to do that num is greater than 5 okay or maybe something like that let me just type else return return uh, like num is not greater than 5 okay if and uh, else block over here so let's try this thing now okay so it should be check okay and after that let me just give name and let's say put 4 see I got name is not greater than 5 why I have just uh, what is my code I have given one condition so that is why like if name is less than 5 then I will get this thing okay so now let's put 7 so it should return name is greater than 5 so this is very important so now suppose uh, Mm, I didn't get this one so it will become string so now what will happen let's check okay let's put 7 so I got an internal error so what is happening over here by default from the URL I am getting this as uh, as string and after that it is going to be compared against an integer so that is why I am getting this internal server error so this is always important so you should mention this integer okay so this is very fun to do so let me do one more thing let's put some uh, copy paste over here okay and let's do some sum okay sum so let's put num1 this num2 as well integer and let's remove all this thing know what happened over here so after that let's put return let's put sum equals to num1 num1 plus num2 that's it uh, so I'll be going to uh, get a summation of these two numbers okay So what is happening over here? I don't know. Oh, I got an error. That's why. That's it. So let's try now over here. Okay. So how to use two parameters? So it should be num sum num, then num equals to fifty, then num one, and I'll be going to give num two equals to thirty. So let's put so sum equals to 80 so suppose I just change this thing num and I give it to num4 so I'll, I'll be getting an error so it is going to uh, complain me that I need num1 and I need num2 why 
cos as a path parameter my function is expecting this too so that is why why i'm getting this thing as an error a function already defined in line 9 okay i just keep this thing check so this is very bad i should do so that's it so let's try to 80 so let's keep one more let's say 130 plus 50 you should return 180 that's it so this is very simple guys so hope you guys understood how to use this uh, parameter and everything so let me uh, I think it should be good if I can take a screenshot of this thing hope you guys understand and then this is very important to use like a uh, parameter type or else sometime it is going to be if you're going to work with a uh, string then it will be fine but if you're going to work with some integer and you are going to do some sort of calculation then definitely you should mention the type of your parameter or else it will be difficult okay fine that's it let me save it so that's it by guys so that's it for tutorial 6 i hope you guys uh, understood the concept of path variable and query parameter or path parameter and query parameter and where where, where you should use so query parameter is very much important for example you have a you have a database and in the database you have list of thousand elements and you want to uh, you want to you want to uh, return the element with the id number 50 how to do that so that time dynamically uh, you should use a uh, query parameter name over here and after that inside your business logic or inside your um, like main logic plot you can do the actual calculation okay so this is very important so whatever thing i'm saying guys this is going to be very high hi hypothetical and high level things i know but when we are going to start working on the actual project with this first api i think that time it will be very easy so most of them if uh, already worked with a uh, flux to do some sort of like blogging system or some library management system or some e-commerce application for them this is going to be very easy and for them they can easily relate things okay in a in other uh, api firm, framework it is actually going to be work in a different way but in fast api it is actually a new thing so that is why i just breaking down all this concept in a small use case and after that i'm putting it all together in the form of tutorial okay so last but not least guys try to put some sort of uh, feedback so feedback is going to help me so most of you actually requested for query parameter tutorial so i thought of uh, uploading this in this way so it is actually for you uh, for you guys actually the tutorial i'm going to upload for all of you guys to help them so so to help all of you so if you guys are not getting benefited then probably this is the right way not the right way for me and also waste of time for all of you guys so whatever have in your mind please give me if you have some use cases please send me the feedback then i can create those tutorial according and last but not least try to do some sort of practice actually practice uh, gives you enough confidence okay enough of talking guys uh, have a nice weekend uh, let me close the tutorial that's it for today we'll see you in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye have a nice day happy learning and have a nice weekend